<laughs> Sound checks. Sound. Mic check. Mic check. We good? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All, right. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got Matt and his sweet Mark V Supra. So, you you might be viewing this video because you are interested in this car. Um, we'll walk through the car here in a little bit, but I'm sure you guys are wondering why he's selling this car. So. Uh, all right, y'all. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love this car. I love the platform. Uh, I built a pretty fast car here, but um, I think it's time for something different. I mean, I love the car. I mean, originally why I really wanted this car was so I can just be fast and it looks nice. And it's also a heritage to my dad's Supra that he had back in the day. He had a Mark IV, a white one, so... I mean, what can you say? But um, I kind of thought it would be cool if I got a Mark IV and my dad has a Mark V, you know? It'd be like a switch up on rolls, you know? <laughs> and I think overall it's just like a good investment. I mean, Mark IVs are dying all the time and I think... You Even know, uh, NA autos are going for big money right now. Yeah, like, I mean, who wouldn't want a Mark IV, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of hype behind it. Like, oh, it's just overrated. But, I mean, I love the car. It's it's one of my dream cars. And, I mean, you can't really hate on me wanting my dream car. So, I mean, Yeah, I can already hear everyone in the comment section. All their keyboard typing is like, oh, yeah, you want to get away from the BMW. All that shit. <laughs> well, what, what, okay, so now since you've experienced, like, a big power B58. Huh? And then, obviously, you know, your dad. So... Watch David's video, description down below has the link. Um, he talks about like his experience with his Mark IV and the Mark V. And then of course you have Matt kind of wanting to carry, carry that on. But like from your perspective, cause you know, your dad already talked about it on camera. Since you've been able to experience something like this, what makes like the 2J so enticing because a lot of it you've you've seen the yeah. comments where everyone's like oh bmw but they don't know like how capable this is um uh, like you know you don't i already talked we already talked about how great the b58 is but um kind of like from your perspective. from your perspective um i mean i don't know how to really explain it i mean 2jz like that's iconic by itself mm -hmm. there's like unlimited potential in that engine and like I feel like with this engine out of the stock block, I'm maxed out. Mm -hmm. we're, we're maxed out. Yeah. And um, this car is, I'm pretty sure this car will beat a lot of Mark IV Supras. Like, you know, you can't really. <laughs> Mark IV owners. I mean, really, yeah, relax, relax, <laughs> relax. No, but I mean, you, this car shifts faster. It's, I'm pretty sure it's lighter. Yeah, I it think. is lighter. Yeah, I think it's lighter. I mean, they're both big turbo, probably. You're racing in probably a big turbo Mark IV. It's just, honestly, nostalgia for a Mark IV at this point and still driving a manual, you know? I mean, yeah. you can't really beat that. Yeah. There's, like, manual's a dying breed. I mean, there's a couple new cars nowadays that's manual, but if you race it against the auto version, more than likely the auto version is going to be faster. It shifts faster mm -hmm. and et cetera. But it's just more of, like... For nostalgia purposes, that's I think that's why I really want it, you know? Well said, well said. Well, let's walk you guys through the car. So if you're interested in it, we can walk you through the mod list. And in the description box below is also the for sale link. So if Matt still hasn't sold this car, check it out. Bunch of photos. So if the videos don't show it, the photos probably will. So let's go ahead and walk you guys through this beautiful, beautiful car. We good? All right, cool. So let's do a walkthrough here. Um, see these Johnnies? These are some TEs right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm. No <laughs> TEs here, boys. <laughs> Real Volks. No, I'm just joking around. Yeah, TE37s. Um, low key, I think my dad wants to keep them for spares, but I'll let you guys know. Yeah, just. Um, but just let just letting y'all know, it might be on stocks and the welds. Just letting you know. Hey, it's still, um, it still looks sick um, on the stocks just because you do have chrome and black. on the rear wheels. It like literally matches the welds. Um, that's 
Low key, I ran that for a while. Stock fronts and the welds. Yeah, that's how I met. For, before like I, when I first saw this car. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah. Um. Anyways, continuing on the outside, we have a full Maxton lip kit, front front lip spats, all that stuff, and then I have an authentic Engain um spoiler paint match to the car. I'm like. Only one in DFW has that. Custom vibrant exhaust, four inch all the way through, oval piping, so it doesn't make any noise or rattle or anything like that. Um, we'll insert a sound clip yeah. at the end of the video, so if you guys are wondering how that sounds like, you guys can hear it. And then uh, replace the badges. What else we got? I mean, this is from Juan. He kind of hooked me up with the uh, cover for the exhaust. I mean, oh, tinted tail lights, the hex tint on it. It's kind of cool, kind of yeah. different. You guys can see it more on the uh, pictures. So yeah. look at the Google Drive link and for that. Replace the amber lights with actual, uh, I think it's Fraudos. Fraud where I got it. Yeah, um, there's the website. We'll, we'll answer. Yeah, we'll... I forgot what they're even called. The amber light like replacements. I don't think a lot of people know this. Watch this. Oh. Oh shit, I, dude, I didn't even know that. <laughs> what the? Yeah, you know, high little, clean. little goodies. Anyways, um, 3M wrap, the roof. Obviously, I try to get it with the body line, with the curves of the car. Um, I don't know a lot of people that have this, but I was the, one of the first in DFW. You know, I try to be different. That was, what, that was one of my goals with the car, is try to be different. Yeah, um, definitely stands out. Not trying to brag or anything, but yeah. <laughs> then you have the uh, wood buffeting. Wind buffer, carbon fiber wind buffers right here. And then on the inside of the engine bay, we have the Virus caps all, all around the red. Virus engineering, super clean. And yeah, that's all the exterior mods. Oh wait, I forgot to show you guys on the hood. Yeah, let's go over there. Can't quite see it. It's the um, the hood vents here, carbon fiber. Yeah, it's really nice and clean. All right, uh, down to the nitty gritty. Uh, yeah, let's see. Performance mod. So it's probably why you guys are gonna, gonna be considering this car. Yeah, this is why everyone likes the car. To be honest, is this stuff right here. Mm -hmm. Um. So to start off with the turbo, obviously, it's a. Uh, 6870 full race kit, KLM catch can, um, tile, uh, what is it? Wastegate. Wastegate, there you go, sorry. You guys can see it here. Can add some of the B roll if it's so a little hard to see. And then Wagner tuning manifold, 1700cc injectors. Um, Full E85, five performance wiring harness, flex fuel. So basically, all the fueling that you will need to run big power. Yeah, low pressure fuel pump as well. You can't really see that, but yeah. that's in there. You're running, uh, was it PFS, right? Yes, PFS. Yeah, he knows my car more than I do. <laughs> uh, been yeah. stalking, been stalking your car. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's that's basically that's basically it, honestly. And then uh, what about what about your transmission? Ah, Big Bear, the one and only Brian Scholl, Applied Torque Solutions, Stage One uh, transmission. Uh, yeah, it runs perfect. Essentially, if, if you just want to make this a drag monster, you just basically what you just need axles so, and um, motor, right? Yeah, I mean, cooling, you would need more cooling, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do an inner chiller or an ice box. Um, Brian Scholl from Applied Torque Solutions, he makes an inner chiller. That thing is pretty legit. Um, he would run, it's like connected to his AC. Mm -hmm. So whenever his car is running and he flips a switch, the AC line uh, cools down your manifold and everything in the inner chiller. So like his manifold is ice cold after leaving his car on for like 10 minutes in the sun. Pretty insane. Anyways, um, to make this thing 
an easy eight second car, axles, and you just build the engine and cooling and you're done. Dope. Yeah, because uh, this is essentially like a max effort stock block setup. Obviously, you probably won't run it on like the kill map if you're going to daily drive this, but since this is your weekend car, I mean, that doesn't really matter matter to you. But um, for those who don't know or are just viewing uh, the channel for the first time or this is your first time actually seeing this car on the channel, yeah, this is, this is not Matt's uh, daily driver. Nope. But uh, yeah, so you can kind of see a contrast so we have we do have like similar mods between uh my car over there and he, then yours he just loves being like me huh he just loves being like me shoot man <laughs> i mean whenever i first saw your car you're the reason you guys are the reason so if you guys are wondering this dude and his dad is the reason why uh, i had to go top mount <laughs> so i can uh, so i can catch up uh, why uh, i have a top mount and a built transmission <laughs> yeah that yeah Sorry. Hey, no regrets though. No regrets because this car is a blast. So um, if you oh, guys are... Before anyone asks in the comments how much power it makes, I'm going to just say it right now. It makes 850, okay? Relax. All right, just calm down. There you go. Calm down. Everyone asks me all the time, how much does it make? It makes 850. Yeah, there you guys Respective. go. Respectively. I mean, that's not without the kill map. So just letting you know. <laughs> that's on a turnkey uh, 850 wheel. That's the wheel. You, here you guys got it. And then uh, walk us through like the interior too. Can't forget about that. Because I know you have some, uh, some stuff. So I got, I, got, I got a couple of goodies inside. Sorry, it's a little messy. My water bottles and stuff. Um, but I have a Studio RSR roll cage. I replaced the seat belts with red seat belts. Um, I mean, different paddle shifters, carbon fiber paddle shifters. And then I also have custom floor mats. It actually has a actual piece of metal, like logo that says super on it. But other than like, other than that, interior wise, it's not, nothing crazy. Um, still factory seats, factory steering wheel. Um, when I first got the car, I didn't really like how skinny the steering wheel was, but I just grew used to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Vince's steering wheel is pretty cool, but like my hands are small. I'm only like five four, so it's like I'm grabbing a grabbing a massive eggplant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Insert egg, eggplant emoji here. <laughs> you guys can't smell it, but like legitimately, this car still smells new. So how many miles? How many miles does it have right uh, now? Right now, it has nineteen thousand. Um, that's not too much. It probably will go up a little bit because I still like to drive the car. So probably the, if I do sell it, it'll probably have like at least 20. Other than that, I don't drive it too often. That's not even bad at all. I mean, my car straight up almost has like 60,000 miles and it's still, still kicking it. Yeah. So. I, yeah. A lot of people always ask me too on, on my Facebook ad and stuff like that. Like, how's the drive reliable? Like, you're, you know, on all this stuff and. Drives perfectly fine. All I do is link Vince video to them like, oh, nice. And then they ghost me, but whatever. <laughs> Assholes. Yeah. To all the people who's asked about this car already and left me on red and ghost me, I don't like you. Anyways. <laughs> yes, this, uh, this car is sweet. So let's, uh, let's fire it up and then let you guys hear, hear the exhaust. So let's do that real quick. So I'll set up cool. the camera and we'll, we'll get that done. Stay thirsty, my friends.
there you guys have it if you guys uh, are interested in this car buy my car check out the <laughs> link down below shoot matt a message this car is going to be a hundred percent worth it so i'm, kinda, I'm honestly kind of i'm kind of sad that i'm selling it, but i'm excited at the same time see what's new out there bro. exactly yeah. there you guys have it give him a follow on instagram i'll insert it on the screen Hopefully he doesn't change it depending on the color of the Mark IV that you get, right? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.